Putin underestimated one key factor, the people of Ukraine. From Kharkiv to Kherson, Ukrainians fought back. Outgunned and outmanned, those men and millions of other Ukrainians stood their ground. They chose to defend their freedom, and in the face of fear, they all decided to say no. And the loudest, most piercing no of all came from the leader we are honoring tonight, President Volodymyr Zelensky. Throughout these terrible months, he has united his country to preserve its freedom. He's inspired nations around the world to support this common cause. He stood up to the Russian government, and he has stood with his people, turning pain into purpose. And we have constantly, throughout all of this, taken a form of courage and resolve from President Zelensky. And so, as Russian aggression continues every day, including this very day, we, like the Ukrainian people, will not be knocked off course. We will continue to support Ukraine for as long as it takes. The Ukrainian people, led by a brave, principled, and determined president, remind us of the better world that we are all determined to see, a world in which conviction matters and in which courage counts, a world in which saying no to fear, to violence, and to brutality makes all the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, greetings from Ukraine, from the country that is already called the global center of courage. This year, we reminded to the world that courage can do things that no one expects. There is no Goliath that David cannot beat when he is not afraid and takes the fight. And I encourage all defenders of freedom to never give up, always act decisively and believe that victory is possible. Ukraine survived under the attacks of Russia. We reject Russian blackmail and are not afraid of Russian terror. Ukraine will not give up its freedom. And the day will come soon when all the murderers and torturers who came to our land under the Russian flag will be brought to justice. We'll see how those who are responsible for starting this criminal war will be punished by the court and history. And I thank all our friends and thank the leaders and people of the United States of America who are helping to bring closer the victory for Ukraine and punishment for Russia, for aggression, as well as for those who became Russian accomplices in terror. It is important that the Ukrainian people were honored with this prestigious award, the Ohi Courage Award, at the same time as Masih Alenijad, a woman who fights for human rights and truth for all Iranians. Now our country is suffering from terrorist attacks by Russia, which are also carried out with Iranian weapons. The Iranian regime has transferred drones to Russia to destroy our civilian infrastructure, everything that gives the vital basis for a normal life. Our power plants, transport, even residential buildings have become targets for murderous Iranian drones. Hundreds of them have already been used against us. And this clearly shows that when there is a threat to freedom, it is a threat to people everywhere, not only in the places where the human rights are destroyed and people are humiliated. When there is a lack of freedom somewhere, it undermines freedom for all humanity. So it is a danger for everyone and that's why everyone's courage is needed. Courage, which is enough to stand up to terror and punish those who spread death and hatred, who threaten freedom and destroy peace. Please, don't hesitate to say no when you see the cruelty of evil like Goliath. Don't give up. Always fight. Do not give up your rights and never betray the desire to live 
freely and please help others who fight for freedom. Let victory be the reward for courage. Thank you for your support and for the award to Ukrainians. Slava Ukraini!